Ready. Our Tamani Willie joins us from the pickleball courts to share how the game is played. Morning, Tamani. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic start to your day. Now, you might have heard of a little something called pickleball. And here we are at the brand new Legacy Pickleball Club with none other than certified pro instructor, Jackie Santa Cruz, for me to learn some tips and tricks. Good morning, Jackie. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So, oh uh, my goodness, pickleball has exploded. What do you think it is about this sport that you see being played behind us that has really like grown exponentially? Well, I think one of the things is it's just such a fun sport to play and it's really easy to get started. So it makes the entry level players able to just pick up a paddle and start. And then the other great thing about pickleball is you have such a great community of players that, you know, since I've been playing, I've now become friends with people that are in their 60s and 50s and I 40s. Know. So it's you see the fellas playing community. behind us, everybody, the age range is 35 to 68. Hey, Hong, wave to the people. That's 68 right now, wave to the people. Right there, that's 68. He's showing the young ones how it's done. I love it. Okay, you can go back to your game. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. So you guys are gonna be doing clinics here at Legacy Pickleball. What would you say the importance is of giving that time to come and learn some technique? Yeah, clinics are a great way to make sure you have proper technique. So A, you can play the game and improve the game, but also make sure you don't injure yourself when you're learning to play. Right. And it's also, cl clinics are also great because you'll probably meet some people in your clinic that you then can, you know, play games with afterwards as I well. I know. So please take the time to go and learn wherever you are from here all the way out to Buffalo. And you say as a certified instructor, warming up is important. A lot of people just get out, they start, it's an hour, it's two hours, and that's sometimes where it happens. So give your t uh, time, yourself time to warm up. Yes, of course. So one of the things for warming up is you want to do a dynamic stretching in order to warm up just to make sure those muscles are loose so that way when you get out there and are running for a ball that you right. don't injure yourself. Now somebody, you have the tennis hat on. I know some people are upset you guys are taking over their tennis course, but what are a couple key differences from tennis and versus pickleball? Well, so one of the big differences, obviously court size. The tennis court is probably three to four times larger than a pickleball court. But I think that's one of the appeals for pickleball is you have a smaller court to cover. Um, the other difference is obviously the the paddle and the ball. The ball, you're playing with a wiffle ball. Um, right. Which, so it goes fast. It goes, And yeah. it's called a paddle. I came here and called it a racket. I got some looks. <laughs> that's okay, I'm learning. All right, everybody, talking about learning, coming up in the next hour, Jackie is going to do a double set with me to kind of show me how to play the game. We want to give a shout out to Legacy uh, Pickleball Club here in Boston Spa for hosting us this morning. Look, guys, pray for me. That's the latest from here. See you in the next hour. Sending it back to you. I cannot wait to see that, my